Welcome back to Divinity Original Sins 2 Honor Mode Plus, twice the amount of enemies. We're now going to do probably the most important quest in the whole game, um, at least from my perspective, because it nets an item that you cannot get anywhere else and it is just so good. We're going to release all of our companions. For now, they are no longer needed. Good. Then we're going to search and Strilla, and we are going to take a couple of mighty dwarfs with us. There you go. We got a new party. And you might wonder yourself, like, why would you go for a new party? Uh, first things first, uh, they are beastly, and we're not going to take them for now. Look at that, they do have three uh, source points right off the bat. Secondly, the 1,700 that we invested in each and every one of them, we'll get most of that back, because uh, the items that they bring with them per default, are already strong. At least from a monetary value, really good. And don't worry, we'll get way, way more um, value out of them than we would have invested. So, first of all, we're stripping them down, just so I do not forget it later. There you go fully stripped. Secondly, for now we can take something, we're going to um, anyways um, redo them. Good. So a couple of things that we now want to do. Number one, we um, specifically want to reskill each and every one of them. They are just social characters for now, and we need them for one purpose and one purpose only. We're not going to redo it uh, all too often. I don't want to like overstress um, what I'm uh, doing. We're doing that specifically for one quest, and we'll is a nice side effect, so to speak take with us the, um, the, uh, the effect that we can use them for stealing as well. That's about it. I'm not going to kind of rehire um, uh, people over and over and over to just continuously steal and, and cheese the game. That uh, is not the intention. But we can. I will show you how it's done once and then we should have also sufficient equipment. So first and foremost, Psyken himself and needs to change just a little bit on his uh, attributes. We are taking a tiny bit of summoning away and we're going for a scoundrel. We're taking a little bit of warfare away and we're going for a Aero Thurk and that should be fine for him. You will see in a second why exactly we chose both of these uh, skills. Secondly, as for all of them, their abilities hardly matter at all. What matters though is what we're doing with their skills. Um, the combat skills, quite frankly, also do not really matter. I mean, we could go, uh, go full summoning I couldn't care less, to be honest. But down here, we're going to go for thievery, five points. And for the talents, um, we are going to go for escapist, 
just in case if we're like busted I don't want to run away with everyone um, we also um, I'm thinking about something that makes them more approachable no most of it is uh, simply not needed so yeah everything else to be honest is irrelevant we only need escapist and all skill up all skill up in order to get the highest rank of thievery and escapist in case of something going wrong to just uh, mm -hmm. run off we're doing a, a similar thing here I'll go with two thieves because that's probably going to be enough. Afterwards, everything's anyways going to be robbed. And for her, I think we can yeah, do the bartering piece just to get better prices. That's fine. Good. So now that everything is ready, let us jointly move to Driftwood Square. Second part of our plan involves us getting some spells. Uh, we will need some lightning spells for, for our endeavor. Yes, please. So we're taking the cheapest ones. One, two, thank you. That's 500. We combine the scoundrel skill with a lightning skill to get smoke cover. Smoke cover is something that we are definitely going to use. And that's also the reason why Saiken originally should learn that skill. Because now we do have smoke cover. Uh, just as an option, we're going to put smoke cover into our list. There we go. Have it right here. Smoke cover is going to protect us. Um, we have quickly getting the source points because uh, bless is a good thing and we will uh, need to use it for uh, for the smoke cover uh, because uh, the trick for thievery is really to put up su uh, such a smoke cover and then bless it which makes uh, the person inside of the smoke cover invisible and with that you can freely steal from a merchant even in very yeah, uh, in very open places. That's what I should have done way way earlier, just to yeah, uh, just to make it faster. The ever long struggle to get enough source. Oh, look at that. The game prevents you from effectively... I see. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. So, with that, we're now heading out for the quest and afterwards we're going to do the stealing part. So I want to show you the quest mainly in that video. And the reason why we take these three guys with us is um, as follow. Um, the quest is basically uh, called a Web of Desire. A web of Desire in, in includes you um, to kiss 
uh, were spider, I suppose. Like she's half woman, half spider, and you can get a reward out of it. Now, one of the things uh, that you would want uh, uh, to have is a unique item that I'm going to show you in a second. Now, everything comes at a price, and in our case, it means uh, that we will need to pay two constitution permanently. Of course, knowing me, you could imagine that I do not want to pay two constitution, so that is where these mercenaries come in. They will just gather the device. You can then hand it over. Saiken is carrying it. You can get one of these unique items for every character, so we're getting three of them, and then afterwards we're going to steal it, so that she is basically giving, uh, so that we're basically having four of them without losing a single point of constitution. Good. Here's the part where it's important. We're taking uh, the fifth one, the chrysalis. Agree to the deal. And then we need to follow her. So it's going to be a little bit repetitive because she's always going to go with us. You cannot go there with a whole party. She's not going to kiss you in front of everyone else. Kind of understandable because she's a wear spider, so... You, why would uh, why would she kind of un, unveil her uh, her real identity? So we are now going to make out with that nasty nasty lady, and afterwards get a great item. There you go, straight up six six thousand XP. Good, we received a new talent, Spider's Kiss, which is fine. I mean, we can look at it here, Spider's Kiss. Spider's Kiss gives you minus two constitution. Um, the other uh, effects are uh, the other items, uh, uh, the other options are nice as well. And look at that, Glowing Idol of Rebirth. So let me talk about the Glowing Idol of Rebirth, okay? That's a rechargeable item which you can feed with um, Resurrection Scrolls. Feeding it costs you one ability uh, point and it will permanently charge it until it is used. If your character is uh, supposed to die, uh, the character instead is fully resurrected with full health and is going to come back to life. So um, it will save you in minimum, for the first time, uh, three uh, ability points. If you want to recharge it then in combat, it only costs you one ability uh, point instead of three. And it is just such an incredibly good item because it will, uh, it will help you uh, to increase your survivability by a lot. Not running with it is just... Is just uh, ludicrous. We're taking the same chrysalid. Agree to her deal, yes. So, just not running with it would be ludicrous. Like, why would you turn uh, turn down such a good item? Specifically if it doesn't cost you anything. It takes no slot. You just gain an advantage without any disadvantage if you do it uh, with that method you merely invest 6000 gold in the uh, in the mercenaries and that's pretty much it you can resell all of their stuff easily
you can easily uh, sell off all of their stuff and that's fine plus plus if you're um, if you're stealing like I'm doing it it's even net positive because you're not uh, wasting your stealing attempts on your main characters these guys here are well trained in stealing they're not supposed to uh, to fight well, that's pretty good in my book it works good one more time and then we're ready to go transferent good here we go perfect agree to the deal yes please such a good quest unfortunately so i mean in hindsight if you know how good it is you're not going to uh, let this uh, pal, uh, quest slip but i was always wondering like in terms of game balancing this here is just that's borderline broken you could argue that with two constitution more you can yeah do so much more but here's the thing like constitution usually doesn't bail you out if you're down to your hit points there's a high chance that you are going to die and if you're dying you don't want to let it cascade you don't want to let it cascade so that um, uh, you need um, uh, action points to just recover and keep dying and dying and dying that's exactly what you do not want to do good they all got a negative talent and I couldn't care less because we got three glowing uh, idols of rebirth and if we play our cards right, we even get a fourth one via stealing. Which leads me to the next point. Our nice little stealing attempt. So... We do have the plus two stealing gloves, which we're now going to hand over. Oh, requires fine, uh, finest 12. And for whatever reason, I was stupid enough to, to give them uh, finest 12. What's up with the other gloves? There you go, strengths 10. I mean, one point doesn't make too much of a difference for now. It's okay. Um, I know it is suboptimal, like I, instead of 6,000 gold, we could get, eh, might as well, um, retrain real quick. So, let us talk to her. And there's the idol initiative. Lots of good stuff. There's the last idol. Good. Perfect timing, by the way. To shortly get back to the ship. Well, you won't find anything on on this little dragon here. There you go. She also moves back to the ship, and we're gonna go for the finesse. Just so everyone can wear the, the gloves. 
And then we're going to steal two times from every merchant. There you go, number one. And number two. And we're going to do the stealing part in another video.